What is up everybody? How's it going and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a quick unboxing on this item I picked up from Jags. It was drop shipped directly to me by Energy Suspension. So please stick around, check out the video, and I'll see you guys there. They should be red polyurethane bushings I ordered based off of measurements. So I will see you guys there. Thank you for watching. What is up everybody? How's it going? And welcome back to the channel. Before we get started, please like, comment, subscribe, and smush the bell notification icon for future updates. Alright, so before I open the box, I'm going to give you guys some, some information. So I picked these bushings up. This kit is um, from Energy Suspension as well. I did a, I'll probably link a card up here to the video I did on this guy, as well as I did a bunch of information about these shocks. Um, so this is uh, 9.8144R is in red. That is the part number for both of these. I ordered two packs of four. Come to find out, as I was uh, went to install these, I realized that these are the correct thickness, but there's one problem with them. And the correct thickness is based off of the original um, Bilstein B4-KT1-Z441A00 or Bravo for Kilo uh, Tony 1 uh, Zulu 441 Alpha 00. This kit, so um, this kit or this shock right here actually takes two different types of bushing. Um, so one bushing has this nipple. This goes to, this is the, the bushing that goes onto the top of the shock first. So the way this shock is set up, this is actually for a 2003 to 2021 Forerunner. I have it installed on a 2000 Forerunner because it's got a lift. But this bottom bushing right here, this is where this bushing goes. And then the bushing without the lip or nipple goes on the top. So the downside of what I found is not thinking about it when I had spoke to them I had to custom order them and this is a 3 8 in inner diameter um, and it needs to be a 9 16 so in order for to get these to actually slide I actually had to drill them out um, a little bit and the reason I bought energy suspension bushings was because this kit is still made from Bilstein uh, and I can't use any other kit other than this kit. These bushings are specialized for this version of shock. So I had to get this kit. This kit, the reason I have it, is because it goes into... I have a set of these exact same shocks that are brand new. Um, and I took the bushings out of the set just to get measurements because there's nothing wrong with these shocks. It was just the boots were destroyed. Um, so what I, I did is that I bought some Rancho boots and I'll show you guys so the Rancho boot part number is uh, Roger Sam 1937 RS 1937 um, and they're just standard two inch um, uh, lip on one side and one and a quarter inch lip on the other side which will do just fine and I just zip tied them um, the, this shocks had another uh, aftermarket set of boots on it. Somebody bought black boots, put them on it, um, and zip tied them. That's how you can tell they didn't have the original like metal bands. Um, but so two of these bushings um, stacked on top of each other is just slightly too tall. Um, and what I mean by that is it does fit. By just putting them like this. You know, there's three threads here. So it fits just like this. Downside is it does not fit. Um, it's actually too thick because in order for this to be correct, the frame is a quarter inch deep. So it's about right there. So when you put the washer on, the washer, the, the bolt or the thread is flush with the washer so it will not thread. So that is the main issue with these. Um, I did pick up these to fix that issue. Um, so 
the measurement of this is correct, but it's the height of this nipple. So it in a sense doesn't work because this is actually goes into the frame. This quarter inch thick nipple goes up into the frame and it's flush. So the thickness actually needs to be this section right here, which is five eighths. This is seven eighths. If I remember correctly, let me grab a caliper and then we'll open the box and I'll show you guys the, the other set of bushings that I had custom ordered. So, this is 5 eighths. The thickness on this guy is 7 eighths, like I was saying. So, this is correct because if you measure it from the nipple, it's 7 eighths from the nipple. seven eighths from the top to the bottom. So it is correct on thickness, other than that I wasn't thinking about the nipple. Uh, so I had to reorder some bushings. I can use this on the bottom, and then um, the one in this box, which should be this size on the top, or I can use this size twice. Um, it's really up to which one I prefer. Now keep in mind, the thicker the bushing is on the bottom, the less, when you mount this up, uh, the more this is going to be compressed. So, uh, because this is now extending the top of the shock, um, the bayonet, top of the bayonet uh, portion of the shock um, on the frame, it's pushing it further down the frame. That means that this, when it attaches to the axle, is going to be more compressed. So uh, if there was a smaller bushing, say like this 5 8 flat bushing here, then it's going to have that 1 a little bit over 1 8 it's uh, about a 1 quarter inch um, less material up here. So this is going to go higher up, which means that this is going to be extended a little bit further. It's going to be extended a quarter inch further. So I picked these up, um, and you know these were like, seven dollars a pack i grabbed two of them and then what was in here was actually 4.99 a pack of four i grabbed two of those as well so i'm going to keep these as spares um, in case i need them down the road no big deal um, if they if i don't use them i don't use them i just have extras all right so let's get the box open real quick This is from Energy Suspension, 1131 Via Cologne, San Clemente, California. There's their information if you want to go check them out. Um, uh, if I remember, I'll put it in the description below. Um, I will put a link to JEGS. Um, Summit Racing also um, sells bushings as well. So these are not clear. They are... They are polyurethane bushings, but they're not, they're not kind of opaque like these guys. So these are kind of, uh, yeah, I wouldn't say they're opaque. They're kind of um, glossy, glossy rubber, where these guys are matte. These guys are part number. 9.8126R says 8 inch shock tower with uh, S my nip you know not sure it's really sure what that is um, you know these I'm pretty sure are made for a specific vehicle more than likely let me grab my knife trying to cut this open so we can take a look at one of them. So 
So these do have a little nipple ridge on them. It's not a big deal. I could just cut that off. Um, these, the thickness of these guys are thickness say half inch five eighths from the lip so I actually could use one of these and one of these would be fine so if we take it's kind of a little frustrating that um, when I was talking to them uh, they measured the nipple I don't know why um, energy suspension measures the nipples the thickness but um let's give it a try where i pop one of these guys on so i'm going to take take that one off it does create enough um this one i'm gonna have to drill out real quick just do it while i'm on on camera with you guys So here's a 9 16 and then I'll grab my half inch. There's a half inch. So it being a little bit thinner with the nipples, not a big deal. It actually probably worked out well. Grab battery. Drill just stated it was overheated and it was wasn't even being used. That's very interesting. I'm gonna bring you guys back after I get them drilled, so that way um, it doesn't make the video too long. All right, everybody. So we're back. I got the uh, two of the bushings drilled out. Uh, it wasn't too hard, I just used my vise um, to hold the bushing still. Um, I used my vise with a rag. So, a rag like this, I wrapped it around the bushing. You can see there's particles all over the rag for me drilling it out, but I wrapped it around the bushing like this. So that's how I wrapped it around the bushing. Clamped it in the vise, squeezed it just a little bit so it would literally um, squish the center just a little bit. Um, so I actually have one here. It's not pretty on the back, um, but I th I'm pretty sure these are rubber. I don't think these are polyurethane, to be honest. They smell like hard rubber, and they drill like rubber, too. Um, where the polyurethanes, um, these guys, they... Uh, they drill a lot differently um, than these. So these do smell like rubber. I was hoping that they would be polyurethane all the way around. They're not. These are definitely rubber bushings. Um, they're definitely 
thinner than this one in a sense. If you take away the bushing or the, the nipple, this guy is actually thicker. I was hoping that these would be 5 8 thick completely, not 5 8 with the nipple. So they're not, they're not even close to 5 8 um, They are with the nipple side, but if you measure it just with this guy right here, it's half inch thick where the nipple makes it 5 8 5 8 where I'm measuring on top of the nipple. Half inch at the bushing. But they will work. Um, I didn't really want to mix polyurethane and um, rubber. But it is what it is. Um, I can always contact Jags back. See if I can get one that's uh, that matches its poly, that's rubber or uh, polyurethane. But um, that's the difference. That's why this one is just a flat color. And these are kind of, in a sense, see-through. They're a little bit opaque um, where light goes through them. That's the difference. These are polyurethane. These are rubber. Um, but that's what I picked up, guys. So I did put one on the bayonet. So if I put the washer back on. I have plenty of room right here um, to leave one of the larger ones on. The frame goes through here. So the frame is going to be about right there. Let me measure. Frame is a quarter inch. So it needs to come up just a little. Quarter inch. So that's how thick the frame is. Washer. And that. So that should work perfectly fine. Um, what I could do is probably more realistic is if I flip it around, put the nipple towards the bottom, like that will probably be better. So. that quarter inch washer now it's flat on the washer these are a little bit smaller in diameter too they're not they're not as wide as these um, which is aggravating because they did tell me that these should be just as wide they're not uh, they're slightly smaller I don't know by how much let's see what are they what's the difference so one and a quarter. This guy is one and three eighths. So slightly smaller. Um, I needed them one and three eighths around. These are one and a quarter. If I relax it, it says a one and nine thirty second. One and five sixteenths. So one and three eighths. That is the difference right there. So it's about a uh, about an eighth difference. Yeah. It's about one eighth smaller. Um, it should work though. I already put this one on just to show you guys. It should work. Um, just got to hold the, the shock in the tower, um, the upper perch, um, and they allow me to lock it down. Uh, you know, it's all that matters is as long as they I can at least use the shocks for now. Um, so I drilled out two of them. They're too small to put two of these individually so I'm going to use one and so I'm going to do both shocks like this one and one neither one of these bushings are going to be touching each other so it's not a big deal at all 
I do appreciate you guys stopping by, checking out the video. I hope the information was useful. Um, so this kit is 9.8144R. This one is 9.8126R. If I find any uh, uh, bushing this size that's 5 8 thick that does come close to matching uh, um, this polyurethane model instead of this rubber model, it does... It does definitely smell like rubber. It actually smells like the rubber on your eraser. Um, you know, when you guys went to school. Um, when I went to school, you know, little pink erasers that were on your uh, pencils back in the day, which they still have them. That's what it smells like. I bet you if I write some pencil on a piece of paper or something, I bet you this would actually smear the pencil off. <coughs> I don't even think I have a pencil available right this minute. Uh, might be able to find one real quick. Oh, yeah, there's one right there. So I do have a pencil here. Yeah. See it there? It's made of the same rubber that they use to make the <laughs> pencil erasers. I guess guess my theory was correct, guys. Um, that's kind of funny. Um, it, I don't think it ruined the, the bushing, to be honest. These aren't going to last very long in, in 110 plus degree heat and up um, in Arizona. But I got two prepared. They will um, get the shocks back on the truck this one back on the truck and then I got to take the secondary shock off on the passenger side rear I got to take the boot off the boot is completely ripped got to put a new boot on it and then clean it up and then throw that one back on so uh, might as well do the bushings while I'm there um, the boots were ripped because they got doused with diff fluid because the third member was leaking and it was flinging uh, diff fluid at the the black old original boots so I put some Rancho boots on it Hope the information is helpful, guys. I do hope you guys had a, a great rest of your day. As always, please like, comment, subscribe. Smush the bell notification icon for future updates. Go check out my Amazon affiliate links, my Acme Tools affiliate links, my DJI Electronics affiliate links, as well as my Ohio Power Tools affiliate links. And hopefully, I will see you guys on the next video. Um, I will put um, all of these things in the description below if you guys want to pick them up. Um, the part number for this kit, I said it already, here it is. If you guys want to pause the video um, for the original uh, uh, install kit, which it comes with the, the mutter, the puffer, which is the bushing, uh, alignment washer, teller, another uh, puffer. Uh, which is another bushing, alignment washer, and teller. And this kit does have all the part numbers for the OEM stuff for the Billistine. Um, part for the Rancho boot is RS1937. Okay. And then I got these bushings right here. Do, 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 do which is 9.8126R. Take this bushing back off. Line everything up for you guys. Those two bushings. This one goes back on here for now. Okay, these two bushings go to this kit. This bushing goes in here for the for um, storage, so I don't need more than two of these. Come on, go back, go back. There you go. So this this guy right here, 
which is 9.8144R. I hope the information is helpful, everybody. Thank you guys so much for stopping by, as always. Go check out the affiliate links, which I believe I mentioned. If I did not, you know, Amazon, Acme Tools, Ohio Power Tools, um, and DJ Electronics. And I will leave links if I can get the uh, show links for these on Amazon. I'll post links on Amazon. If I can't um, find them on Amazon, I'll post them from like Jags and Summit Racing down below. Thank you guys so much for sticking around. You guys have an awesome, awesome rest of your day. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace!